Hey, welcome back everybody. JK here for Wrestling With Reality. Sorry there haven't been any videos. I sort of took the month of January to try to learn and uh, better operate my um, video editing software. I've also had some projects for work that have kept me busy and um, I bought a green screen. And it, I've been tinkering with this green screen for like a month and I, I came to the fact that I must get studio quality lighting. So I'm still, until I invest in studio quality lighting, I can't use the green screen. So you're going to have to deal with seeing my Batman collection in the background for now. All right, so we're going to do another Mandela Effect video, guys. Uh, this probably is going to be the last Mandela Effect video for a while. I'm probably going to start doing uh, video games on my uh, on my channel as well, so look for that in the future. Uh, but as far as Mandela, let's get going. So the first one I have is Black Apples. Have you all known about Black Apples? I don't know if they've always been around or what, but I've never seen them. A lot of people think they're Mandela effects. Black diamond apples. Look at these things. Not too delicious looking. And then we have horse apples. Has anyone ever heard of these things? Look at these things. Looks like, uh, like a rash or something, like a skin rash. And on the inside, it kind of looks like a pineapple. I don't know. Never heard of them. Look at this. I don't know. Have you ever heard of these things? Maybe I'm just crazy, but some people believe that they are Mandela effects. So let's see. How about this? The rectangular iceberg. Now you always hear people say, oh, nature doesn't make right angles. Okay, look at this. I mean, that is like a perfect right angle. Now, I mean... I guess someone could have been in there with a jigsaw to make that perfect, but I mean, look, there's not even like any footprints or anything. Ugh, I don't know, man. That is strange. A rectangular iceberg. Like, how does that even come about? And it's like a perfect rectangle. Look at this. I don't know. Just crazy. The iceberg's sharp angles and flat surface indicate that it probably recently calved from the ice sheet. And that's from NASA. I don't know, man. That's pretty crazy. A rectangular iceberg in nature? Ugh, weird. All right, how about... Rainbow geysers. Now, I showed you guys the fly geyser in Nevada, but look at this thing. It's a rainbow geyser look at the colors in this i mean that is just amazing look at this thing Whew. i mean just all weird different colors are coming out of this thing the rainbow geyser this is the fly geyser i've shown you this before okay but what's the water coming out of that's just regular colored water but this thing man look at this wow unbelievable Yellowstone's got some cool stuff. All right, how about this? The double rainbow. Some people say double rainbows are a Mandela effect. I mean, I've seen them before. I, I don't know if they're a Mandela effect. I guess it's possible, but they are pretty beautiful and neat anyway, so I figured I would include them. All right, the Rainbow River. So we've seen rainbow swamps. We've seen rainbow geysers, rainbow uh, mountains, rainbow forests. Now we have a rainbow river in Colombia. How weird is that? All kinds of colors in the river. Whew, man, all this stuff. I, I swear I need to have like pictures on my wall of all these rainbow things because they're just so beautiful. Colombia's rainbow river. Wow. Yeah, it sure is the most beautiful in the world. I agree with that. Unreal. All right, how about this now? Remember in... The never-ending story. Remember the luck dragon Falcor? Well, a lot of people remember his name being spelled differently. It's F-A-L-K-O-R, but a lot of people remember it with a C. I seem to remember it with a C because I used to be obsessed with this movie as a kid. I've probably seen it like 50 times, um, but I don't know. I can't say for sure, but that is something a lot of people believe. All right, let's get into some song lyrics. How about this song by Aerosmith, Walk This Way, right? You know that, walk this way, talk this way, right? Well, look, he never says talk this way. 
What? Look, never. He just keeps saying, oh, there's talk this way, down at the bottom. So he only says it once. I seem to remember him saying it a lot more than once, though. I thought he said it a bunch of times, but anyway, more song lyrics. How about Barbie Girl? I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. But it's not. It's in a Barbie world. What? In a Barbie world? It doesn't sound right. I don't know. All right, here's a biggie. And this is timely, too, because of the movie that just came out. Queen, We Are the Champions. Okay? Now, the Bohemian Rhapsody movie is, like, huge right now. It won a Golden Globe. It's, like, it's blown up. Well... A couple months ago, a student came into my work and said to me, um, you know the Mandela effect about we are the champions? I said, no, what is it? He says, well, at the end, you know how at the very, very end of the song they say, of the world. I said, yeah. He says, well, they don't say that. They never say that. I said, what? What are you talking about? But look, I looked it up and it was nowhere to be found. Nowhere did it say of the world. I listened to the recording. It was not there. Then the movie came out. I have not seen the movie, but my friend did, and he told me, guess what? They say of the world in the movie. And then a few weeks later, I wake up to a text from my other friend saying, it's back. Look, of the world. This was not here a few months ago before that movie came out. It's almost like whoever made the change was like, uh-oh, this movie is going to really bring a lot of attention to this. Let's change it back so that people aren't too freaked out. But I'm telling you, this of the world was not here. So, ah, make of that what you will. I'm not crazy, okay? Of the world is back. Weird. That's weird. <clears throat> How about the village people? A lot of people don't remember this army guy in the village people. And it's funny, if you look at it, it's almost like he is photoshopped in there, but he's not. So, okay, so we have a Royal Canadian Mountie, we have the leather guy, we got the cowboy, the Indian, the worker, and the military man? I don't really remember that. A lot of people don't remember that. Okay, but apparently he's there. Here he is again, military man. I mean, it makes sense, but I don't remember it. Look, military man again. Very strange. All right, how about this? <clears throat> the TV show Different Strokes. Remember it? With uh, Arnold and Willis. What you talking about, Willis? Right? Did you know that it was Different Strokes with no E? I don't ever remember seeing that. Ever. Like, in the TV guide, it must have said that. Look, even on the actual DVD, if you buy the box set, I don't know. A lot of people don't remember that. It's considered to be a Mandela effect. Here's a big one. Scary movie. Now, this was the movie that made fun of Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and all those, like, new horror movies. And Marlon Wayans' character was making fun of The Sixth Sense, the boy in The Sixth Sense that says, I see dead people, right? Well, in the movie, he said, I see white people. And this used to even say, I see white people right here. But they changed it to dead people. But now there's like no joke. It just is exactly from the sixth sense. So there's no joke. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not funny. <laughs> White people is much funnier. But that's a big change. A lot of people are talking about this one. So that's very strange. Okay. How about this? Risky business. The popular underwear scene. Okay with um, Tom Cruise. Ready? Okay. All right, well, he's wearing a pink shirt. Most people remember him wearing a white shirt. People have been this for Halloween. People have made spoof videos of it, and it's always a white shirt. People also seem to remember him wearing the glasses, like the sunglasses, as you see. Okay, here's a spoof video of it. White shirt. Just take those I don't, if you're going to go through the effort to make a spoof video like this, I don't think you're going to wear the wrong color shirt. I mean, the shirt's the only part that really is the uniform. That, that is it. The costume is a shirt. So why would you wear the wrong shirt? 
I don't get it. All right, how about Field of Dreams? Shoeless Joe Jackson, if you build it, they will come, right? Everyone knows that line. If you build it, they will come. And at the end, they do come. You see all the cars pulling up, just the big line of cars. It almost looks like, you know, people going to Woodstock. But look, he says, if you build it, he will come. Now, I've been told in the movie it's, it's about Kevin Costner's dad, so he does make sense. But I know that's not how it always was. It was they. If you build it, they will come. It's an often, often duplicated quote. A lot of people say it. But it's changed. Another big movie, The Exorcist. A lot of people don't remember this, like, feeding tube going into her nose. And that makes sense to me because when she throws up, now the feeding tube's gone. But people say they don't ever remember her having a feeding tube at any point in the movie. I've never seen the movie. I don't like old, old movies, so I'm not sure if that's one or not. But a lot of people are saying that's one. How about the three little pigs? Okay. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, no, no. Not by the hairs of my chinny, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Right? But look. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Well, think about it. Chinny chin chin rhymes with in, not down. So which version's correct? Very strange. Suddenly there's two versions, down and in. And a lot of people don't remember it that way. They always remember it being one way or the other. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, how about Joel Osteen? Remember Joel Osteen? He's like a preacher. He's like an arena act, and he, and he preaches the Bible and, and stuff. It's O-S-T-E-E-N, no L. It's not Olstein. And I checked his website. I know you're going to say, oh, that's Wikipedia. No, I checked his website, checked his Facebook, his Twitter. It's Osteen. I even saw his books. It's not Olstein. That's a big change and weird. How about the product Whiteout? Okay, created by the mother of Mike from the Monkees. You remember that old TV show, but it's not W H I T E. It's W I T E, and then like a I guess a dash or a dot, and then out. White out. Weird. I do not remember there not being an H, but hey, whatever. All right. Same thing with Ready Whip. There's no H in the whip. It's just whip. W I P. Ready Whip. I don't remember that. I always thought there was an H. How about Vlasic pickles? When I was a kid, I used to eat probably four or five pickles a day, and they were always Vlasic. And I could have sworn there was always two S's in, in Vlasic, but now there's just one. So that's, a lot of people say that's a Mandela effect. Lazy Boy is one. It used to be L-A-Z-Boy, so you would say Lazy Boy. But the way it's written here, it's almost like Laz Boy or Laz, Laz Boy or Laz Boy or I don't know, but whatever. That's another one. Now, here's one that's interesting. The Monopoly Man. Okay? A lot of people say that the Monopoly Man had a monocle. Okay? I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, a lot of people say it. I'm not sure. And then some people are saying, oh, they're getting him confused with, I, I don't know, what, Mr. Peanut or something like that, but no. The Monopoly guy had a monocle, and here's some proof. Watch this. It's been detectives, and you must be the Monopoly guy. Okay, I mean, that whole joke was based off a monocle. And there's also a joke from uh, Patrick Warburton's show, his old comedy, I think it was called The Rules of Engagement, and he says it too, about the Monopoly guy having a monocle. How about J.C. Penny? No one remembers the E in J.C. Penny. I sure as hell don't. I always thought it was P-E-N-N-Y, but apparently there's an E in there now. Strange. All right, let's get into some Bible differences, some scripture changes, okay? Luke 5:24. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy couch and go into thine house. Take up thy couch. Like a sofa in the Bible? I don't remember a sofa being in the Bible. Whatever. Strange. Genesis 1-1. Now, come on. If there's going to be a change in the Bible, you think they wouldn't make it 
So you notice it, but they did. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But some places you see it says heaven and earth. God created heaven and earth. You see what I mean? So that changed. A lot of people think that that changed. I'm not sure. Matthew 7, 1. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Now we all know it's do not judge lest ye be judged. Suddenly it's changed. It's like, I don't know. And apparently it was never the old way. It's just strange. Okay. How about the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring? When Gandalf is fighting that weird, like, fire monster in the pit, and he's about to fall, and they're all looking at him, and he says, Run, you fools! And they start running, and the camera pans out, and there's this epic CGI scene with them running, and, sorry, and being chased, right? But watch this. Fly, you fools! Fly, you fools! Fly? Why would he say fly? I mean, yeah, later they do fly on a bird, but I don't think that's what he meant. He means run. And that's what he used to say, run. Very strange. All right, how about this one now? This is um, the Lost Boys. And a lot of people don't remember this line. Listen to this. Oh, goddamn shit-sucking vampire. Shit-sucking vampire. Not blood-sucking. Okay? Goddamn shit-sucking vampire. A lot of people say that's a Mandela effect. They don't remember shit-sucking vampire. How about Freddy Krueger? Here's his claws. He's only got four. There's no knife or claw on his thumb. Do you remember that? I don't know. I seem to remember him having one on all hands. I mean, tons of people when I was a kid was, was Freddy for Halloween, and he always had, I thought, a claw on his thumb. That's just strange. Very strange. All right, how about this? The two-headed sharks keep popping up. Have you heard about this? No one knows why. Two-headed sharks, people. All right, obviously it's some sort of weird recent mutation, but people don't know why. They're like, why is this happening? Look at this. A two-headed shark. Like, really? Look. And it's like just happening to these sharks. It's really strange. So here's what National Geographic says about it. So, let's see. So they're popping up everywhere. People aren't sure why. These things are really weird looking, in my opinion. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so they're not sure what that's all about, but it's there. And finally, purple Brussels sprouts. Now we know there's purple cabbage and we know Brussels sprouts are basically small cabbage, but there's I don't ever remember purple Brussels sprouts. Ever. And now they're a thing. Now they're here. Do you guys remember purple Brussels sprouts? A lot of people say Mandela Effect. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, keep checking back in the channel. Uh, like, subscribe, bell icon. Um, you know, help me spread the word on this channel and grow it. I'm going to start posting videos more regularly. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And uh, Johnny Cashmere is out.